I hope that after this evening, everybody will have a little bit of more time than they normally do to give consideration to flowers and what flowers do. They are our ancestors by millions and millions of years, and they gave us the breath we're breathing in this room right now. So do try to join in with the spirit of what this evening's about, which is to recover a sense of the beauty and necessity of the flowering plant world of which each one of us are physically built. But I particularly want to show this image because flowers open up at a certain point. They are in continuous movement, but in this particular case, they stay for a certain amount of time absolutely flat on to the visual screen from above. You could say sunlight, or you could say bees, or what I've found in my book, you can say human beings. I believe that flowers brought out from human beings geometry and arithmetic. That's my own conviction from having studied flowers. Flowers major function, and don't forget evolution is idea-led. Don't believe anything else. Evolution is idea-led. Only by thinking of something better has any creature become better, or more advanced, or more clever. That's my conviction. Next one here. So, when I took a photograph flat on of that flower there, I discovered something which bowled me over, quite understandably. This circle here is the exact circle sitting inside a five-pointed star. If we start here, this is the five-pointed star. And this circle tangents the inner pentagon of that five-pointed star. But we also know, everybody knows, pretty much, that the face of this flower, which are, which are actually many other little flowers, are unfolding in a relationship which is popularly called Fibonacci. That is when you, you get a, a progression, and that progression goes 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so forth. It gets nearer and nearer and nearer to the golden mean. So here, these spirals may be going 13 this way and 8 that way. Those spirals are approaching the golden mean. But the whole flower is giving you exactly the golden mean because that relationship to there, if you say that's 1, that relationship there is the golden mean. The golden mean cannot be expressed in arith arithmetical numbers. The golden mean just goes on and on and on. I would probably burn up all the available energy on the planet trying to get to the end of it. You cannot resolve, if that, that distance is one, you cannot resolve that, however, many, however big your computer is. It just goes on forever. It will not come to a finite number, which is a terribly important. As far as I'm concerned, scholars talk about it as being an irrational number. As far as I'm concerned, it's a transcendental number. But, of course, transcendental numbers are something which have been forgive me, hijacked by the modern mathematicians, so I'm not allowed to call it transcendental, but surely it is. So the two ways of approaching the golden mean are both given in the face of the flower, which is quite surprising. So next one here. That, I've come to the conclusion, is an incredibly important drawing. I'm sorry to put such a simple thing in front of you, but that has hit me in all my studies of flowers. That flower there is using this inner circle here to compose all its little yellow flowers. And the rest of the white petals are out here. But this relationship here, as John Martineau, who's sitting somewhere in the audience, knows is a pretty important, a pretty important circle, that one there. Let's see, next one here. There is the way in which we have found time and again by counting the little, the, all these little people are going to become flowers like this. These are flowers on the outside. All these little buds here, if there are 21 going that way, there'll be 13 going that way. That's what we've discovered, and the name of Fibonacci is given to that. But the whole flower has told us that already. Next one here. And Kukai says, meditate on a lotus flower. 
and be aware that your intrinsic nature is also pure. Behold the fruit of the lotus cup. Realize that you too are endowed with an excellence of mind. <laughs> 